Hey there, I'm Chaz Tacular, and welcome back to Call of the Sea. So last time, Nora took another step toward becoming a mermaid. I don't know if her transformation is final or if there are going to be more steps. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess we'll just see how this goes. So let's get into it. Okay, so she doesn't look like she has fins in that picture. But I can tell that she definitely has fins right now. So did I teleport to this circle? Because it doesn't look like it lowered down or I guess it could have raised up. I don't know. Anywho, let's explore. I should be scared, but it's hard to explain what I feel, but it isn't fear. Not a bit. Oh, there's another stone circle up here toward the surface. Another one of those gates, like the one I saw in the temple. Hmm. Is this going to turn her back into a human? Hello. Oh. I'm back to being me. Interesting. So they both teleport you and transform you. Okay. It's hard for me to understand how these gates work. What happens every time I cross one of them? I literally just told you, Nora. Were you not listening? Okay, so we got another pool here uh, with a thing there to teleport into. Except that looks like it's jetting water out this way, so I don't know... It doesn't look like there's anywhere to go down there except for that tube, so I don't know how that's gonna work. It looks like there might be a path... or no. There's not a path. Okay. Nor is there a path over here, so I guess let's go through the gate thing again! Woo! Yep, back underwater. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the only way to go here. But the water does look like it's coming out toward me, so... Yeah, it won't let me through. But we got a puzzle! Another panel of this strange technology. What's it for? Something related to the currents? Yeah, that would be my guess. Okay. Okay, maybe I have to time those to go at this to hit the center at the same time. Oh, that one looks like it has a like a cross line through it, and that one doesn't. Interesting. Okay, let's try to. Oops. Yeah, let's try to time it to where they hit at the same time ish. Maybe. I don't know if this is gonna work. Or let's try it the other way, maybe. Oh, that did something, or maybe it did nothing. What? Yeah, no, it's still... I wonder if the notebook works underwater. Oh, okay, the notebook button does nothing underwater. So let's try... Oh, and I... there's no hand thing here. No, I've got to try to figure this out without the notebook. Okay, does that have a cross through it? It does. But that looks more like a just like scarring than an intentional design. What in the world? Oh, now it went up. Wait, what? Okay, that definitely did something. We Wow. And ride in the current. But not the black current. Okay, look, story time. I went to Kenya when I was 16. The island is pierced by underground currents. Yeah, so I went to Kenya when I was 16 and they had the most magical beverage in Kenya. Fanta Black Current. It was the best soda I'd ever had up until that point in my life. I'm, I'm not sure how, would, how it would really compare with later sodas that I've had, but golly, that stuff was good. Back into another human area. So let's check out the notebook, see what we got here. Yeah, so to control the water currents, direction change. I'm still not entirely sure I understand how this works. Ooh. Okay, got a whole bunch of stuff. So last episode we read about how Harry was 
sort of losing it. He said that there was no cure for the illness and talked about the end. In any case, there's no turning back now. I have to go ahead and find him and find the answers to the questions I still have. I know I should be scared about what's happening to me, but I'm not. Truth is, it's been a long time since I felt so alive. In the water, I could see my hands. They had turned into bizarre amphibian hands, although I recognized them as my own. It's hard to put it down to words, but it was as if I were another version of myself. I've lost track of time in this place. I feel like I could stay here forever. As strange as it might seem, I feel a strange harmony with these surroundings. Everything reacts when I'm close, as if every living entity here in this lagoon welcomed me. I activated some more of those gates like the one in the mountaintop temple and, well, I don't know how to put it in words, but I can breathe and move freely underwater. That architecture again. Where is this gate going to lead me now? Huh? You mean the gate that I just walked through? I'm going down the stairs. Then I hear birds chirping. Gonna run down the stairs. Wow. Quiet and peculiar place. Dang, this game looks so good! Ooh, what are these? Oh, we got some more over here too. Oh, weird. So on these ones, we have handprints. And on these ones, it looks like claw marks? Something. There's a singular, singular bowl. So these look like houses of some kind. Oh. Slaves and masters and Nicole. Wasn't Nicole in the notes? Yeah. It looks like some sort of food. It's not human food though, and it's fossilized too. Oh, interesting. So is Nakal? What does this do? I just heard a tone of some kind. Yeah. So I don't know. Okay, so there's really not much of anything in I these places. Who used to live here. Oh. It seems it was abandoned ages ago. Another one of these. We father, we I I understood that. Uh-huh. This place is very odd. Let's see what this does. Nothing discernible happened. Yeah, I guess I'll just go across this bridge first. See what's over here. Oh, I see another one of those gates down there. And there's another one of those gates. Okay, let's see what's in these huts over here. Wow. That's a cool, cool lighting effect. I don't see anything in here, though. This one has some stuff. Water animal. Is that what I am now? I guess so. What is this? The inhabitants of this village lived at different altitudes. Some even lived inside the water. They used this sort of dam to lower or raise the water level. Interesting. Oh, there's more over here. It seems that each family had to agree somehow to change the water level. I'm amazed at how organized they seem to be, despite them being so primitive. Being trapped here probably made them stronger as a community. Okay, so first of all, how did you determine that they needed to agree to change the water level just based on this? And second of all, Dory, you can't just call people primitive! That is definitely not PC! Okay, what is, what is this thing? Oh, this might have to do with changing the water level. What was that noise? Do I want to bring the water level up? Or... So that just does this. Yeah, so I probably got to do something else first for that to actually do whatever it's supposed to do. Oh, there's a level up there. Let's run around the clod huts. Although they are the same style, these huts are much simpler than the magnificent architecture I've seen up to now. Yeah, that is true. Maybe that's why she called them primitive. We yeah, have more murals. Whoever the inhabitants were, they were living here against their will. So it looks like they crossed out the master's faces. And the slaves have this weird green. Someone vandalized this mural. Yeah. Some hands look human, but others are amphibian hands. Oh yeah, that one's amphibian. Fascinating. So I guess this whole culture was like on the edge of human and amphibian. I don't know. Oh, these are amphibian hands up here. Huh.
Okay. Is that black blood the same thing as the black ooze? Yes, Nora, keep up. Oh my goodness, you're so dense. So I think I have to hit all of these to be able to change the water level, probably. Okay, so I guess a meteor came down. How can I explain what's happening to me? What is the meaning of all this? God's blood, transformation, eternal life. I feel like I'm going through what was written in that inscription. Yep, that you are. Uh, maybe each of the different families had like a different pattern. Black blood in eyes, like in the well. Huh. So, so yeah, like I'm saying, I think there might have been like a meteor that woke up one of the old gods, and that's where they got the black ooze from. And nothing in here. Let's hit the button. I wonder if this was a village of slaves? Okay, so now I'm gonna go down there and see if uh, whatever those pillars are will do something now that I've hit all the buttons. And these murals again. Oh! Looks like there's another path that goes down this way. Well, let's see what's going on before I hit the button of no return. Okay. So we got those yellow hands down here. Oh, I wonder if those lowering somehow lets me cross over. I don't know what the deal is. There are some hand marks made with pigments. I wonder if they mean something. I better draw them just in case. So the, I guess these are like the different family sigils. I don't know what's going on. All right. Okay, we got more entries. The currents took me to what looks like a town. A sort of cylindrical pit with houses all around the walls. It's much more modest than the ruins I saw earlier. There are murals like the ones I saw before, but they've been defaced. Without a doubt, the people who lived here were the victims of the rituals. There was a small sink filled with black ooze. I heard some voices calling me, and they sound similar to the ones in my dream. But this time I understood what they were saying. Okay, so she made a note about the symbol order. Oh, I wonder if I have to hit those buttons in the order? That might be what the deal is. Okay, I'm gonna go up and hit the button. Well, first it might be interesting to look at the previous buttons and see if they've been undone by me hitting the thing. If they have, then I'll probably hit the button just to reset the whole thing, and then I'll do them in the order that she put them in the notebook. Yeah, that button got reset. Yeah, that one too. Okay. Alright, so let's reset this thing. Get them all un undone. Okay, there wasn't there a button up here? No? Wait, if there's not a button for the pur purple swirly fellers, then how do I make them go first? Maybe... okay. Yeah, okay. Right, so the symbol order. Maybe I have to do them from bottom to top? Because this seems to be the last button, if if that's the button that I that I think it is. So I'll do the white hands first. Okay, so here are the white hands. Press that. So next I'll do the yellow hands. Okay, so here are the yellow hands. So I will hit this button next. And then the red hands. Alright, here are the red hands. I will hit that. And then the next one is the claw marks. And here's the claw mark button. Who made these marks? They look quite old. Alright, and then finally should be the purple purple swirl. That is a tongue twister. Purple swirl. Hey! Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now what? I guess I have to go down and hit that button? Golly, they got me running all over this place. Okay, let's see what this button does. This civilization used these devices to raise and lower the water level. Oh. It's impressive. I just lowered the water level? I guess if I wanted to raise it, I would have had to do that one. Okay, let's go see what this gate leads to. I see another little gate over there. With a bigger looking hut. This one probably leads down into the water though. I'd like to check the notes before I go down into the water. So that's water drainage. Okay. Right, so we got a new paragraph up here. The people who lived in the sunken town were able to adjust the water level at will. Were they people? like me? Is that why I feel so at home here? Is that the reason this is so familiar to me? All right, let's uh, see where this takes me. And I'm underwater again. Uh -huh, so I got one of those drain things here. One of these switches. Also got uh, another one over here. What is, what is this doohickey? It sounded like a stone moving. 
but I didn't actually see. Oh, is that a timer? Oh, so when that timer's up, then the thing moves again, which means I have to utilize these to get down there quick. Huh. Wow. Okay, so it looks like there's another, there's like a purple light up here, except I can't get through. Okay, let's go look at the bottom. This looks like an altar dedicated to two figures. I can hear them talking to me. Were those father and mother, I wonder? Interesting. Got another mural here. What, Nora's not gonna offer any commentary for once? So I guess the guys with the staves are like the, the, the masters. Yeah, I really don't know what to make of this. Ooh, there's an underwater hut. And another underwater hut. Check this one first. Yeah, I don't see any hand marks down here. The sunken continent. Was that their punishment? Huh. So they... So these creatures are immortal? Well, if that's the case, welcome to immortality, Nora. Okay, so I guess the slaves prayed that their master's civilization would get sunken, and those who became mer people managed to live. I really have no idea. There's another mural. Yeah, and every single one of these, the guys with the staves have their heads covered over. Okay, so those look like humans. And then on this platform and over on this platform, you got like kind of an amphibian, like half human, half fish. But then you get all the way down here and they're like basically full fish, but with arms. Fascinating. So I guess there are different like stages to the transformation. What would be interesting to find out is what stage is Nora at right now? Okay, so this is the... This is the door that I want to get through. It means I have to reverse this one to go back that way. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that seems to have reverse the flow. Cool, cool. And now this one will take me down to the door. So what is the next one in the sequence? Is it this one? Because if so, it's already facing the right way. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Okay, so then I think I have to just reverse the flow on that one and it should take me down. But there was another this current right there, right? It's a beautiful place, but it has also seen a lot of suffering. All the island is that way. Beautiful, but dangerous. The danger yeah. does not seem to affect me, though. So what is down that way? I wonder if I can surface when I'm in this form. I can. So I guess this kind of looks like a hut of some kind. Oh, wow. There is definitely something in there. I guess the real question is, do I want to go toward that hut first or toward this hut first? Because either one would be a simple matter of changing the flow of these two things here. Yeah, let's change this one's flow. Of course it was already pointed the right way. There can't be any consistency among puzzles. What would be the fun in that? Oh, the shape of the squiggly is different. So it takes a different amount of time for the slow to... Did that do it? Okay, so I did do it the right way, but the path was different, so it took took a different amount of time for the flow to get to where it needed to go. So that should have changed it. Yeah! Oh! There's uh, another path this way. Okay, so that's where I came in. Yeah, I want to go. I want to see what's down here. Got bioluminescent coral and stuff lighting the way. Oh. Hello. 
I can't actually leave the water though. I also can't see very well in here. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and reverse the flow on this one. This panel is broken. I'll have to find another way to go through. Or never mind. Let's go this way. Okay, let's activate this. That'll open that up. And go, 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 go! This looks like a dead end, or maybe not. I'm committed now. Yeah, okay, let's go up this way. My illness has kept me from being happy. What I feel now is the complete opposite of being sick. I feel full of life and energy, even better than before my illness. Oh, well, here's another one of those things. You know, I was about to dub this a Watergate after, after you know, like Stargate. Then it occurred to me what other meaning Watergate has. Okay, so that took me up here. Where am I? Okay, so that's the first gate. Oh, okay, this was the other gate over there. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. So there's another button over there, which, if I had to guess, probably raises the water level. But then we also have this path over here. Oh, is this the if one? If I enter the water now, I'll be soaked. Being me, I mean, it's hard to explain this, even to myself. So is that the tunnel that I came up earlier? I don't know. My sense of uh, underwater, above water geography is all discombobulated. Let's see what this does. Oh, that lowered the water level even more. Interesting. Why? Now the water level is really low, so I can access that tunnel. Oh, oh! Okay, so now I'll go this way. And I should be able to walk right down over to there. And I love it when the plan comes together. These creatures live like slaves. All their lives imprisoned and tortured in this place. Was it possible to live a decent life in here? If you've lived all your life in a prison, how would you know that you are a prisoner? That's pretty deep. Almost as deep as this water. <laughs> okay, so now I can just walk through here on dry ground. Now I can enter this tunnel. Whoa, these are like stairs at an odd angle. Like, I think maybe this structure fell over at one point. What do we got here? Well, if I had to guess, that's the way forward. Let's check the notebook again before I go too far. There were two statues made of stone and mud on the bottom. It seemed that the people were leaving offerings in them. Was this how the people living here looked like? I got some more notes. So this device opens a door, but only for a while. And if I can aim all the currents in the right direction, I can get there in time. Well, been there, done that. Let's move on. Ooh. Well, well, well. As Molag Ball once said, into the bowels. At least I think that was Molag Ball. I know I'm gonna look that up later and be all kinds of embarrassed. Try it the other way, maybe? There we go. And onward. This current is quite strong. I wonder where it will take me. This is just going all kinds of deep. And yet sunlight still seems to be getting through. So if these fish people are immortal, where are they? Like, where'd they all go? Um, hello? Uh, that's... Is that a giant squid? Okay. Wow. I wonder if these current things are like, like a highway system. 
I mean, they're obviously some kind of technology. Dark water ride. ride. But it's over now. Well, looks like I'm going to be a human again. So where am I? That's interesting that when she gets transformed, she doesn't. She's not soaked because she mentioned earlier being soaked if she were to go in the water in her human form. Someone set up camp in here. Oh, hello. Interesting. So this looks like. Looks like a means of transportation to get to that sanctuary. Okay, what about this spell's sanctuary? Fascinating. Uh, okay, what's over here? Another mural. It seems to show two possible courses of action. One means transformation, and the other means death. So what? What is what is this structure here? So it looks like if if they're chained up and they're following the master's orders and they get turned into mer people. But if they're not chained up and they go on their own accord, then they die? That sounds like propaganda to me. Looks like we got a device down there. Yeah, definitely some sort of device thing in the jig. So how do you work? This panel looks different from the others. It's much more elaborate. We got a swirl, like a lightning strike, a little person, maybe, and an eye. Does this rotate at all? No. More complex version of the other panels. Timing? Okay, got a new entry. I found the exit from the town and dived into a long underground current. That was incredible. I had never felt so free and full of life until now. Okay, well before I try to figure this out, I want to go look at the camp that was up here. I don't know how it's possible that it could have been Harry. Oh, I wonder if it was the doctor. Is DeWitt... I, I remember thinking that maybe something had come and set him free from that pole. But now I'm wondering if he merely evolved, went out to the beach, and disappeared. What is this? This... this... Oh my god. Did I almost forget about Harry? Boat. Transportation. Okay. She doesn't seem to care much about Harry, and she doesn't seem to be thinking straight either. And so Cass wrote this, I guess? Harry's mental decline is more evident each day, but today he said he found out some place to carry out some ritual. I have to get to the bottom of this. I have to keep doing what I've been doing up to now. Listen to what he has to say and go along with him. I can't stand him, but I have to tread lightly, because it's only him and me now, and the Black Eye Corps. Interesting. Harry, that look on your face. You look deranged. They seem to loathe each other. I can't stand your lunatic face. I can't stand the noise you make when you eat. I can't stand you. So what happened to Teo Aurora? If it's just the two of them at this camp. And how did they even get here? Where, where is here? What is this? Somebody painted these symbols on the wall. I think those have to do with the, with the device. Oh, there's another letter there. You I'll read that the last. You followed from the temple summit, and it took you some days to find this entrance. White Sand Beach, Teo Horora building raft. Where's the sanctuary? Ruins, useless. Huh. More of this stuff. A sanctuary? Harry, was that where you went? The masters brought their slaves to a sanctuary by boat in order to perform the final stage of the ritual. Oh dear, poor people. Is this why I'm changing too? It seems that the sanctuary was where the final stage of the ritual took place. Oh, that's that building from the mural. Huh. So the guide left the expedition. That would explain the workshop on the White Sand Beach, where I arrived. I don't remember a workshop on the beach. Oh, there was the, uh... Oh yeah, okay, I remember that. Monsieur Everhart and Madame Ward. We had plenty of death on this island. I helped you as long as I could, but I won't be an accomplice to this ritual madness. I'm returning to the White Sand Beach to build a raft and leave this mudite eel. I'll be there if you change your minds, but I won't wait too long. Maururu, Roa, and Au revoir. Teo Aurora. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's read Harry's letter. My dear old pal. It's only Cass and me now. I have much to thank her for, even if our friendship is worn thin due to hunger and fatigue. If she hadn't insisted so much, we'd never have convinced Teharoa. He guided us as we followed the river down from the mountain peak. And 
That's how we found this entrance. And the mural. Maybe I can't undo what's happening to you, Nora, but I think I can try to become like you. Oh, wow. The original inhabitants of this island took slaves to a sanctuary. And there, they performed a ritual. Tea Haroa said the ritual was madness, and he didn't want any part of it. He and Cass argued violently. When we woke up the next morning, he had left. I know it sounds strange, but you have to trust me, my love. I know this is going to work, and we can be together. You understand what that means, don't you, Nora? I have... We have a second chance. With more love than ever, Harry. Wow. Harry? Wh what ritual are you talking about? Why on earth would you want to become like me? Please be don't with be a you. Fool. You don't even know if that ritual of yours is going to work. Okay, well, let's see what's out here. The sun is setting. It is so beautiful. Wow, I love the mist from the waterfall. So there's another ladder there. Oh, I wonder if that's how they got down here. Oh, look, a little bench. Yeah, I think they might have they might have come down the mountain from from there and found this cave. Wow, so Harry's trying to become like Nora then. And for some reason Cass is sticking with him. Almost makes me wonder if she has a little crush on the guy. Okay, so that's the sanctuary that we're trying to get to. But for some reason, death is a possibility? I have a bad feeling about that. It seems to show two possible courses of action. One means transformation, and the other means death? Yeah, I have a bad feeling about that. Okay, so let's... Oh wow, a lot of new stuff to read! It led me to another large hall with an opening to the exterior. There, there was another Harry's camp. The shocking thing was that I had almost forgotten him. How could I forget my husband? I'm so sorry, my dear old pal. Harry and the remaining members of the expedition followed the river down from the mountain peak, and after wandering some days, they finally found this entrance. There's a note of Teo Herora, the Polynesian guide leaving the expedition. He was fed up of death and disaster and tried to convince Harry to leave the island. He returned to the beach to build a raft to escape. My god, I think Harry has lost his mind. He thinks there's a way to be like me. I hope he didn't do anything foolish, but his last few letters sound incoherent and unstable. So Harry scribbled these symbols on the wall. They must be important. So it looks like we got a squirrel. A squirrel. <laughs> looks like we got a squirrel right here. Mm-hmm. No, so we got a swirl followed by five lightning strikes. We got a little dude followed by a an eyeball and a lightning strike. And we got a squirrel, a swirl, followed by a dude and a lightning strike. What? Okay, I guess I will try... I don't know what I'll try. What, what am I trying? Okay, so the swirl looks like it has the longest path. The lightning strike is the shortest. Oh, gotcha! So the swirl takes five lightning strikes to get all the way to the center. The little dude takes the same time as the eyeball plus a lightning strike to get to the center. And the swirl takes the same amount of time as the dude plus a lightning strike to get to the center. Which means what? Okay, so if the swirl is equal to five lightning strikes and to one dude plus a lightning strike, then that means the dude takes four lightning strikes of time. So if the dude takes four lightning strikes, and it consists of an eye plus a lightning, then the eye takes three lightnings? So the swirl takes five lightnings, the dude takes four, the eye is three, and then the lightning is one. So assuming the lightning takes one second, I would want to time them one, two, three, four, five. So I do swirl, person, eyeball, weight, lightning. I don't know, let's try it. One. Two, three, four, five. That did not work. <laughs> okay, I feel like I was getting somewhere with my reasoning, but it wasn't quite right. So let's try to work this out. That takes one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Okay, that's three seconds. Oh gosh, math. Why math? Why did it have to be math? Why did it have to be? Math! Okay, um, yeah, I'm just gonna get out my calculator for this. Okay, so the swirl should take 15 seconds. 
If my math is right, 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, 12 1000, 13 1000, 14 1000. Okay, yeah, so that takes about 15 seconds. Okay, so the swirl takes 15 seconds, the dude takes 12 seconds, the eye takes about 9 seconds, and the lightning strike should take about 3. So that's 15, 12, 9, 3. So let's try this. Okay, well, okay hold up, I, I need to calculate. So, so if that takes 15 seconds, then 3 seconds after I press the swirl, I press the dude, three more seconds and I press the I, then after six seconds I press the lightning. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand. This must be my transportation to the sanctuary. Holy crap! I... The power of math, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, cool beans. Let's uh, let's go to the sanctuary then. I wonder what's up that way. Oh well, looks like I'll never know. Guess that was the end of chapter five. Yep, sunken. You have completed chapter five. All right, we're getting close to the sanctuary, folks. Whoa. Chapter six. Falgothen. It all makes sense. Nothing bad is going to happen to me here. As menacing as this place might look. Whoa. The island, the ooze, those sea creatures. They're just defending themselves. Like a wild animal against an unknown threat. That's okay. how they perceived the expedition. Like a threat. But I, on the other hand, I wasn't a threat. And I definitely wasn't unknown, was I? Hello. As if I was one of their own. Interesting. Everything seems so distant now. Why are the stars moving As so if fast? I first stepped on that white beach thousands of years ago. But did she just say thousands of years ago? Be. Yesterday was yesterday was a new moon. Did I lose track of time or maybe you must have. this place isn't subject to the laws of physics? Is That's that? the only explanation I can find for this surreal night. Well, yeah, with the stars moving it's so hard fast. To everything is real. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I'll open my eyes sometime and I'll be back in our home in Englewood and everything will be as before. Oh, I just my discovered I can move around on the raft. Ordinary life with Harry. My daily routines. My illness. That will be as before too. And then I'll need to shake off this strange feeling that I have now. Feeling that I don't really belong there anymore. And with there, I don't mean Englewood, or Boston, or Newburyport. I mean... You mean the world of the humans? <sighs> How is it possible that the strange events of only two days on this island makes more sense to me than the life that I've been living for years? Well... I think you're certifiably insane now. Don't worry. Well, it looks like the raft is coming to rest here. There Whoa. It is. The sanctuary. All right. The sanctuary. We are here. So oh. This is where you went, Harry. Was this your last stop? I see a camp. I see a human camp. Okay, so I see a couple of different points of interest. Oh, there's a tent over there too. Okay, let's go over... let's go to this first. My god, this syringe has traces of black ooze. What the hell were you thinking? Black ooze on a Petri dish. I'm sorry, Petri dish? Is that how British people say Petri dish? <laughs> These patterns look too familiar. There are drops of dried blood inside this altar. Interesting. Okay, let's go over and look at this camp. Oh, I guess one of them Another probably... Camp. Though it's little more than a few things scattered about. So it looks like one of them set up camp here and the other one set up camp over there. So this is either Cass's stuff or Harry's. Given all the papers strewn about, I would guess it's Harry's. My dear old pal, I never should have trusted Cass. I thought she cared about you, 
but she's just mad, obsessed with this place. I can't trust her to help me overcome the last obstacle. This door. I know how to open it. But what I have to do is mix my blood with the black ooze. Am I mad for even considering that? It's the only yeah, way we can be together. It has to work, right? All this can't be a coincidence. The ritual is made for the two of us, isn't it, Nora? I wish you could be here to be. Damn it. I, th I have to think it over. I can't. I, uh, t tomorrow. Leave it for tomorrow. Damn it. Stop writing. What are you saying, Harry? Don't you see what the Black Ooze does? What it did to the Doctor? Are you out of your mind? Well, it doesn't seem to be having that effect on you. Except your great-grandmother was one of the people from this culture, I think. Maybe. I Possibly. I, I really don't know. I'm just speculating. A library? What are you talking about, Harry? I had a strange dream today. I was inside a vast library and gazed at vistas of another world. Prakotus? Was the blood of these creatures some sort of catalyst? Blood plus black ooze? Heavens, this dagger looks exactly like the one I have. Oh yeah, an altar, dried blood, and ooze. Isn't that the dagger Frank was attacked with? Interesting. Well, so who who sent Nora the original package? Was it Teo Aurora? But why would he try to lure her to the island? I, I don't understand. Harry, what is this? It looks like the ramblings of a madman. Nora must do it together. Change me? Well, yep, Harry lost his marbles. There's a, there's a thing up here. Ooh, it looks like a gap. That I can't get across. It's got to be some way over there though because I see a mural and there's a there's a thing up here at the top of those steps. Okay let's go check the other campsite which if I had to guess was probably Cass. All right campsite number two. Cass I think I have the answer. You have to go back home and bring Nora here. Leave now please. Interesting. What is he doing? Did he stick his hand into the fish mouth? So I... I have to put my hand inside? He is yelling. Is not working. Interesting. Okay. Cool beans. Moby Dick. Its pages are hollowed out and its shape is... <gasps> what? Chapter 66. The Shark Massacre. And the knife was hidden inside her Moby Dick book. One of the most popular novels in all American literature. Moby Dick tells the story of Captain Ahab's unrelenting pursuit of a great white whale. A book about high seas adventure, symboling allegory, and the conflict between heroism and hate. Interesting. Oh, the camera! The camera. It must be Cassandra's. Huh. Perry asleep in his tent. What a creepy photograph. Why is he sleeping with a gun in his hand? And with his finger on the trigger. Come on, man. Don't you know anything about trigger discipline? Oh my, she sounds completely out of her mind. I've seen the future. Eternity awaits me. Death awaits Harry. So, Cass wants to live forever and kill Harry? Or, well, here's the mouth hand thing. Let's give it a try. Yeah, because that's smart. Looks like a tattoo, but it isn't. Those are my spots. They've moved. I'm sorry, your spots moved? The spots on my hand have been rearranged to form some sort of symbols. That almost looks like a Nordic rune of some kind. Well, we got two more pages of notebook to go through. The stone boat carried me through a subterranean river that flows into the sea. The night was strangely clear, and a full moon was shining weirdly in a starry sky. Again, this island doesn't seem to obey the laws of physics. I got off at a dock of some sort, on the large beach where the sanctuary is. I found another of Harry's campsites, if you could call it a campsite. There is one tent on each side of the beach. I found a circular stone with a fish head with its mouth open. When I put my hand inside it, after a moment of intense pain, the stains on my hand rearrange themselves to form a peculiar pattern. Cass seems to be losing her mind. I'd rather not think about how the two of them got along here. 
or didn't get along. The device to access the inner sanctuary is only activated with blood. Blood like mine. Harry, please tell me you didn't do what I think you did. Harry, tell me you didn't inject yourself with the black ooze. Please tell me that you didn't do something that stupid. Well, I think the evidence is pointing to him doing something that stupid. There seems to be another mural over here. This mural seems to describe a ritual involving blood. That dagger. Oh, there's that dagger again. Okay, so am I supposed to like find the dagger somewhere and then use it on myself? Like how, how does this work? Oh, oh, I already have it on me. Okay. Let's do it. You only live once. Yeah, oh, I really hope this works. Deep cut, you used the blood. You used your blood to open the sanctuary gates. Let's do this. Into the sanctuary. If he's behind that door, I wonder which Harry I'll find. How much would be left of the man I love? And how much of the man who has lost his sanity in this place? The stars are aligned, forming a constellation that I don't recognize. That is not the same sky you can see from Earth. And if that's not the Earth sky, where am I now? <laughs> that's an interesting question. Question that I do not believe I have the answer to. So I wonder if that has anything to do with the constellation I'm looking at. Yeah, maybe? I can't really tell. Got another entry. The altar left no room for doubt. I had to use that strange dagger I've been carrying with me ever since I received it in that package. After my blood touched the altar, the main door of the temple opened. Okay, well, we got... Another one of these things. Hmm, an eye and a star. <gasps> Look at the stars, maybe. I already did that. Okay, that's not helpful. We got two buttons. Got a button there and a button over there. And it looks like some more notes. Oh, uh, more notes means that somebody definitely made it inside. Those stone statues seem to rotate with this switch. Some sort of creature. A pet? Howl. 90 degrees rotation. Okay. Hmm, I wonder what this means. Bridges, dragons, gargoyles, animals. All these papers are riddled with incoherent doodles. Well, that's obviously the constellation in the sky, trying to make sense of it. Okay then. Wait, where are the stone animals that he was talking about? Is this it? What what is this? Like a wheel of some kind or two wheels? And yeah, there's more stuff down here. It's a pentagon-shaped symbol with channels in its edges. What was it used for? Well, I can't press down on anything. So it's not like the one at the bottom of the well. I think it might have something to do with the constellation, but I'm not sure. Okay, so there's water underneath the temple. Okay, so we got like different doors with constellations on them. Constellations and stars. These people seem to worship otherworldly gods. Hmm, I wonder what this means. A shining constellation. I better draw it. Where is this door leading me? That is an excellent question. Oh, there's another mural over here. They carried these people here to test them. Like a challenge of some sort. Huh, interesting. Okay, so we got the pattern on the floor along with the four doors. And there's the pattern in her hand. Okay, I want to see what the two buttons on either side does. I think it might have something to do with these wheels. I don't know. Let's see. Button numbered right. As opposed to numbered left. Okay, and number left. What are these symbols? Circular stones with strange carved symbols. That's the one on my hand. These icons on the wheel are the same as the constellations I have on my hand. Wait, how many constellations do you have in your hand? Okay, so I probably have to use these to come up with those patterns in order to open each door. I would assume. It looks like the same constellations on each one. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so all, the, all of the constellations are the same. Okay, so if I want to open this one, I've got to recreate that on the pattern. 
Let's try this one. No. Okay, so I want it to go from there over to here and then down. I want it to go to there and there. Oh, I can't actually press any of these except for the one on my hand. Uh, let's just activate all of them, I guess, and see what happens. That does not seem to have done anything. Okay, so maybe if I only activate certain ones. Okay, let's try to do this one. That doesn't look like anything. How in the world am I supposed to do these if I don't have the ability to press all of the buttons? Yeah, because those are those are literally not pressable. I wonder if I can do that and that, maybe? Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this one, and so far I've activated this one. Yeah, I think if I do that one next, it might do it. All right, let's see what happens. Hey! There it is! Okay, there's one door. Okay, let's see what's through this door. I might unlock more of the constellations by doing whatever is on the other side of this. Okay, got another mural. Are these like trials of some kind? Wow. Interesting. What an odd structure. Riddled with nooks and crannies and endless stairways. Kind of looks like that one picture. Like that, that painting, I think. Oh, those are the little animal things. That howl. Well, let's see what this Maybe does. Maybe it only hurts the first time. Yeah, I think that's wishful thinking, Nora. Ah! The second also hurts. Yep, that makes sense. Well, hey, I got another constellation unlocked. So it looks like I need to be able to get down there in order to do whatever this is. When I arrived on this island, I felt like I was trespassing. But now, I feel like this is where I belong. Okay, I think maybe the other door is off that way. So I need to open the other door on this side in order to access the puzzle down there. Okay, yeah, that one doesn't look too complicated. Well, I opened this one. It looks like that one's next, I guess. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so for this one, I want to have that one activated, which means that one. Here, I'll unactivate this. Let's activate that. Okay, so I've got that one down to here. Yeah. Now, so what would this one do here? Aha! Okay, so I want to undo that one. And maybe do this? Hey! Unlocked another one! So there are three more buttons on here that I don't have unlocked. I wonder if I can open up the other two with what I've got currently. That one looks complicated. Okay, let's try doing the other ones. Okay, so if I want this one, I'd have to activate that shape. So would that be this? Right, so I want that plus, plus this. Ah, okay. So I got that one opened up. Nice. I wonder if I can open that one. Okay, yeah, this looks complicated. <laughs> okay, so I'd use that one. So I'd use this shape here, which would be this one. Then I would want another shape here that I don't think I have yet. So I'd want it to go there and up to there. So I'd have to go along that route. It'd probably be this one, but from a different angle. Yeah, I think this one from this angle might actually do it. So yeah, I'd need to get that unlocked before I could continue. And then that looks like the same shape maybe, but on on the other side of the circle. Okay, I want to see what's behind this door before I go to that howling animal puzzle thing. This place is like a labyrinth. Okay, this is that more the mural that was across the gap that I couldn't cross. It was submerged in black icor. Interesting. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so that's what's through the last door to unlock. What is up here? Harry seems to be on the brink of madness. But I, I don't feel the slightest hint of confusion. On the contrary, I feel my mind is more focused than ever. But don't they say that if you suspect you're going crazy, that means you're not really going crazy? So if she thinks her mind is clearer than ever, how do we know that she's not crazy? Again? Seriously? 
Yep, you gotta do it to move on. You gotta progress. Yeah. All right, I got the shape I was hoping for. There we go. Okay, so it looks like behind that door is some sort of water puzzle. Let's go ahead and open it if I can. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so I got everything but this bit, right? Yeah, so it looks like that shape again, but maybe this wheel? Yep, that did it. All the doors are open, but where is the constellation I need to open the throne room? What throne room? What are you talking about? Okay, so it looked like over here there was some sort of water puzzle, maybe? Yeah, so we got two of these water gates. Another one of those gates. I have to get into the water again. So it looks like I can go in and come back out. So that's good to know. Ah, eh, let's try it. Yeah, okay, so then I use that one to get back out. So what is down here? This goes somewhere. Oh, there's more. More of these. So I can use this to get out. Oh, there's another fish thing over here. Yeah, another little fish head. Oh, come on. One more time. Yep. Well, there might be another one. Ow! That hurt! Again. Yeah. Yeah, I forget. Was there another one on the... Was there another button that she hadn't unlocked yet? I don't recall. Okay, and then we're gonna use this one to get back out. Oh, did I see that earlier? Looks like the same mural is on the other I side. Feel the torment of the thousands of slaves who perished here. So I wonder why it kills some people and doesn't kill others. Yeah, I think that was the same mural that was over on that other side. Also, I'm confused because I'm still getting constellations on my hand, but what is this throne room that she's talking about? Oh, I wonder if that's the constellation to get to the throne room. But I probably need to unlock all of the little bits and bobs in order for it to work. Yeah, so it looks like there's one more that I need to unlock. I'm just gonna go ahead and undo all of these to get ready for the last one. Okay, now let's go over this way and get the last bit of the puzzle. And then I'm assuming the constellation floating above is probably the next one that I have to unlock. Oh wait, yeah, there was a mural over here, wasn't there? Oh, I've seen that before. Okay. So what is this? Black and white figures. Huh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I think I got that piece. Good doggies or dragons, whatever you are. What is this? Okay, so I, I gotta get them to where... Hold up. Okay, so I have to rotate that to where it's facing that way. Maybe? What am I doing here? Okay, so those brought those up. Okay, so that button rotates that dragon dog. That button rotates that dragon dog. And then that button rotates that dragon dog. And they always raise up pillars where it, whichever way they're facing. How in the world? Because it looks like I'm trying to get over there. So how do I do that? It looks like the black ones do three pillars and the white ones only do two pillars. Okay, so let's try it in this configuration. Or maybe, actually. Let's rotate you that way. Okay, so I'm gonna try it in this configuration, and then I'm gonna go back and change the black ones. Okay, so... you... control that one. Which I think, I think you're fine just facing the way that you were. Okay, so then you... I think this button controls these. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so let's do that. And then these I want facing like so. Yes, okay. I think this is probably it. I can get across to this one. And then I can pass over to this. Hey, hey. I wonder if there's anything over there to look at. I'm gonna try that last. 
And I can get across to these! And finally over to the little fish head. Beautiful. Again? Seriously? One more time. There we go. Oh, I've collected all of the puzzle notes, apparently. So that was the last of the puzzle notes. Okay, so I think I've already read that one about the stone dagger, strange dagger. Using the strange device that projected the patterns on the floor, I was able to open the doors that led to more rooms. Inside those rooms, I found more circular stones and more patterns. Now I only need to open that large door. Okay, what large door is she talking about? Because the only other constellation I see is the one on the, on the sky. Or in the sky. I don't remember seeing another door. Yeah, okay, so there's probably nothing over there, but I want to see what's over there anyway. Okay, let's see if there's anything on this ledge. Oh! That's the creature I saw in my dreams. He's holding on to a gigantic black stone monolith. He is Father Dagon. Father Dagon? How, how do you know that, Nora? You holding out on me? Okay, candid photo. You have found the secret object in chapter 6. Wait, does each chapter have a secret object? Oh no. If I have to go traipsing through all the other chapters again just to find all the secret objects. Uh, okay, so is this thing... Is, is that the door she's referring to? It has to be. So I need to do that. Whoa! Those like northern lights or southern lights or I, I don't know, some kind of lights. So I need to do that constellation in order to progress further. So it looks like I'll start with this. I'll start with this one. Then I want to do this one. Yeah. Next. Is it that one? Or no? That one? Yeah. No. I don't think it's that one. What does that one look like? Could it be that one? Yeah, okay, it's that one. And then what's the last one gonna be? So it just does like a little dip right there. So it looks like these three here are the ones that I want to light up. So what will light up those three? This one? Holy crap! I did it. The sanctuary is open. It's time to find out what's waiting for me inside. Indeed. Wow, I'm I'm surprised I was able to figure that out. I guess I am smarter than the average bear. Okay, so what's through here? Whoa. There's something written in the floor. Blood. Fall. Haven't I heard that word in, in my dreams? Maybe. How can you tell that's blood? What a disturbing mirror. Is it made of black icor? I feel like it is speaking to me. Yeah, I can hear it. Oh, heavens. Okay. Cool beans. There's something written in the floor with blood. Fall coffin? Haven't I heard that word in, in my dreams? Yeah, I played that a second time because I wasn't sure if it would be easily audible. With the whispers going. I cannot see a thing over here, so I'm gonna go to the other side, maybe. Hey, light! Okay. So there's some kind of... Oh. I literally just went in a little circle. Oh, wait! Did I just not turn my head at all that way? Oh, okay. Wow. Look at that. My god. Hello. Okay. Nothing that happens here appears to respect the most basic rules of physics. However, as strange as it may be, it does maintain a peculiar harmony, like the workings of a clock or a music box. Oh. Harry, is that you? Wait, what? Wait, whoa. No, 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 no. I don't have control. Oh, no, no. Why did you do it? Oh my god, Harry, no! Well, he thought he could be with you. In the end, you performed the ritual. You, you poor fool. But why? 
I don't understand it. Why? You knew it. You knew it wasn't going to work. You knew the ritual wasn't going to work. That's... That's why you never sat on the throne. You didn't even perform the ritual, did you, Harry? But you wanted me to think that you had. What? You even left a lure to confuse me. What are you on about? I'm sorry, what? Falgothan, you've completed chapter six. Wait, what? No, okay, you were not gonna tell me. You were not telling me that this entire game was just a dream. What? What really happened? Okay. Yep, no, this is the dream. The only person with you in that sanctuary beach was Cassandra. So if you didn't die, it had to be her. Well, why were his glasses next to her corpse then? And she said on her note that it was going to be him that would die so that she could live forever. But I guess if he became immortal, maybe he wouldn't need his glasses anymore and he would have just left them. I don't know. My current theory is that Cassandra was the one who lived. Did she use the dagger to open the gates and carry out the ritual? You tried to stop her, but it was too late. She shot you with your own gun and left you for dead, didn't she, Harry? I don't know how much of this is just Nora coping or... Because Cassandra was ambitious and would stop at nothing to uncover the secrets here. The island fueled that hunger for knowledge. Okay. I had doubts about whether the ritual would work. But what happened to Cassandra cleared up those doubts. The ritual wasn't for people like you. Okay, again, is this actually what happened, or is this just Nora coping with her husband's death? The ritual was only for people like me. But you refused to believe it until the island itself spoke directly to you. Haha, Falgarfen. She is our daughter. That's when you finally understood. You understood what my fate would be if I didn't come here and carry out the ritual. A slow and painful death. Huh. Whoa. Is that thing moving? So you faked your own demise and left your glasses near Cassandra's corpse. The same glasses you never take off. I mean, it's plausible, I guess. In order to make her move on and... And you sent me the package from Dignity, Harry. Your picture, the key, the dagger. Another one of your scavenger hunts. Interesting. I mean, that's a very interesting theory. Yeah, find him. I took the bait. You made me come to this island, the same island where you almost lost your mind and your life. The same island where four members of your expedition perished. Why did you deceive me, Harry? You said you would never lie to me. Why didn't you tell me the truth? Why did you do this to me? <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. Whoa. Because you knew that I would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you. Right, my love? Not even if staying with you would mean a slow and painful death. So the only way to get me to leave you was to make me believe you were dead. And you chose to live a life without me, so I could be who I really am. That's why you tried to deceive me. But I know you too well, my dear old pal. Wow. We've had so many years together, so many moments of love, happiness, understanding, friendship. I know what you tried to do, but I can't let you make this decision for me, Harry. Either I embrace my fate and accept what I've always been, and leave you behind. Or I reject it, and return home with you to relish the time that my illness gives us. It's my decision to make. Wait, what? What? Does this game have multiple endings? Wow. I was not prepared for this. Accept your fate and leave Harry, or reject your fate and return home. Man. So, either... Wow, so either she takes the 
the transformation and moves on with her life or she returns home so that she can spend the rest of her life with her, the man that she loves and eventually die like her mother did this got dark well um since this is a video game i can always come back and see what the other option would have been um but i think this is the one i want to go with for now you were right about one thing harry i would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you i know who i really am and where i belong i know fate has eternal life in store for me but an eternal life without you is worthless meaningless so i choose the slow and painful death I'm going back home wow I mean, either way would have been extremely yeah either way would have been really hard how oh, interesting that plant is covering up the Nora you staged this ruse because you love me well, I can't sprint anymore so I guess she's not feeling true good love is reciprocal so I'm also making this decision because I love you our love is greater than fate, lineage, or, or all the pain I can suffer. Whatever time we have left, we'll spend together. When the time comes, it will be your hand that holds mine. And those beautiful blue eyes will be the last thing I see before I leave. That's Captain Hodgson's ship. Hmm. Sir, you didn't find your husband on that island, Mrs. Everhart. I did find my husband. He wasn't on the island, though. But what have you been doing these three days? What did you find there? I don't know. The truth about myself, I suppose. And at the same time, the reason to go back home. I don't think I follow you. Have you ever been in love, Captain Hodgson? In love? You mean like in a romance novel? No, that's fiction, Captain. In real life, true love stories don't end with a wedding. They end with a funeral. And wow. the only thing that eases that final moment of heartbreaking sadness are all the good memories lived together. Honestly, I don't think I've ever felt anything like that, Mrs. Everhart. But if you love your husband that much, he's certainly a lucky man. We are both lucky. Wow, that was a powerful line. Love doesn't end in a wedding, it ends in a funeral. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. One, two, don't forget the harmony. One, two, three. Wow. <laughs> All my life is empty since I went away. Skies don't seem to be so clear May some angel sentry Guard you while I stray And fate be kind to join us some sweet day Oh, how I miss you God 
degree I have you back someday Oh how I miss you dear old pal of mine I just realized that the photo is 1946 and Nora does not look great but they look happy together. Sweetheart, may God bless you. <laughs> Honey, are you all right? I'm fine, Harry, don't worry. I can keep going. <laughs> no, listen, let's leave it for today. You shouldn't make any unnecessary efforts. <laughs> really, darling, I'm fine. <laughs> you need to rest, Nora. Come on, I'll take you to bed. <coughs> wow. Even today, so many years later, I still doubt whether I did the right thing. In the end, it didn't matter. You returned home and forgave my deception. We moved close to the sea and had a few more good years, didn't we? Until you left me at one sunny March morning. I wish I could be reunited with you. But fate has punished me with a long and sorrowful life. With no other incentive than my work. Because that is the only thing I have now. My dear old pal. Wow. Okay, so who's who's cutting the onions? Oh man. Oh, okay, so <laughs> Oh man. That was that was good. I I enjoyed that very much. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. In my heart, that will always be the canon ending. So, for completionist's sake, I want to go look at what the other option entailed. So unfortunately, there is no epilogue in the chapter select, which means I had to play through all of chapter 6 over again just to get the second ending. And so I looked up a guide to help me speedrun the constellations on these instead of having to just figure it all out again based on the shapes and where they all go and stuff. And I found something interesting. So according to the guide, if you select uh, this little bit, on this wheel here. So there's the sanctuary door. So you do that bit on that wheel, and then it should be this one on this wheel. What was that? A vision to another world? <laughs> or a vision of the future? <laughs> Otherworldly portal. You opened a portal to Arcadia. Yeah, so. I have no idea how I would have been able to figure that out just based on the clues in the game, but that is a, an easter egg that I just had to share. So I'll bring you back once I get to the choice and we'll see what the other ending has in store for us. Alright, here we are again. Let's see what's behind this door. We had a really good life. But that's not my life anymore, is it, Harry? Not after what I've been through on this island. Not after all I've found out about myself. I yeah. can't fool myself anymore. I have to accept what I truly am and leave you behind. I'm going back home. Whoa. What a lovely melody. I don't believe I've ever heard more than a few notes. Until now. Oh, okay. For years I thought I was sick. Swirling particles. Is, I was homesick. My poor health. The pain. The suffering. It was all because of how far I was from here. That's an interesting Everything way of framing seems it. so far away now. No trace of pain, no trace of sickness. Nothing besides this place. 
It's so pleasant to forget everything else. Hmm. Nothing matters anymore. I'm finally one of the thousands of minds connected to the Icor. What? Connected with the Elder God. Oh my. Goodbye, Harry. Interesting. It's the same thing that played at the beginning of the game. Oh. Hello. Got another one of these. Wow. fish? It looks like one of the like various carvings that I've seen all over the island. Oh, there are more both. A lot of them. Okay. Is that all there was? Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. One, two, don't forget the harmony. One, two, three. Okay, so then we get the credits, but the portrait in the frame as 1930 before all of this happened all my life is empty huh. since i went away sweetheart so so far the song has been exactly the same i have a feeling the ending is probably going to be different I still doubt whether I did the right thing. I lied to you for the first and last time. And even if it was to free you from pain, suffering, and death, I deceived you. But I've paid such a high price for my deceit, Nora. Fate has punished me with a long and sorrowful life, with no other incentive than my work. Because that is the only thing I have now, my dear old pal. Wow. Well, in my humble opinion, that was definitely the bad ending. Alright, well there you have it. Those are the two endings. Yeah, I definitely think the one I went with first is, in my opinion, the canon. My head canon, at least. Ending to the story. I think it was the better ending than the second one. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Which do you think was a more fitting end for Nora Everhart? Also, fun fact, the actor who, the voice actor who did Harry is the same voice actor who did Trevor Hills in American Arcadia. And the voice actor who did Nora also did Vivian Walton. So there you go. If you liked what you saw, please drop a like. And uh, I guess I'll catch you in whatever's next. Have a blessed day.